on this beautiful day to witness and bless the exchanging of vows that will bind Lou and Heidi together in the covenant relationship of marriage. When this ceremony is ended, they will leave here as husband and wife, having, joined, having been joined together by love and yours truly, Rev. Kev. I'm very honored to be here today overseeing this ceremony not only as your officiant, but as a friend. Lou and Heidi would like to take a moment and have a moment of silence and remembrance of their fathers in their absence here. here today as individuals, but will leave here as husband and wife, blending your families and embarking on the grandest adventure of life. All those present here today have come to witness and celebrate your love and commitment this day, eager to be part of the story not yet told. The story of your life together is yours to write, and the next chapter begins to Often we've all attended weddings in which we know the happy couple, but not necessarily how their love story began, the story that brought us here today. So let me take you about back about seven years ago, around July 2015, where we think the Lou and Heidi <laughs> love story began. Now, depending on who you ask, Lou and Heidi either met at a kickback sometime around Lou's birthday, or they met at a hookah lounge. And for the old folks that are here this evening, a kickback is a party. It's a better way to call it a party. So now in Lou's rendition, of their first encounter at this kickback. Lou noticed Heidi while they were standing in line in a hallway waiting to use the bathroom. He was taken by her beauty and needed to make a move but didn't really know what to do. Luckily, he was full of liquid courage. <laughs> and according to him, he shot his shot and sparked up a conversation with her. Now he thinks he got her number that night, but he's not really sure. <laughs> It sounds like nothing came out of this first rendezvous because they later randomly met at some hookah lounge where they chatted up the evening and discovered that they both shared a passion for Disneyland, a place that has remained constant in their relationship today. Now in Heidi's version of their encounter, first encounter, there was no bathroom line rendezvous. She doesn't even remember this kickback that he talks about. She believes that their first meeting was at the hookah lounge. Now in her version, she made the first move. She shot her shot because Lou was just too little too shy. At the time, she had recently applied for a job at Raging Waters and knew Lou worked there. So she sparked up a conversation about Raging Waters to kind of get the conversation going. I think she really wanted to see how he liked working there so she could decide if she wanted to work there or not. So. But just like Lou's version, this conversation led to the discovery of their love of Disneyland. Now, I'm not sure if she ever got the job there or not, but I do know that the connection that they shared that evening a connection that led to their first date at Disneyland, where they shared their first kiss. The first kiss that has led us all here today. Now, I don't know whose story is correct, but as a word of advice from one married man to a soon-be married man, go with her bird. <laughs> She's right. She'll always be right. <laughs> so I recently spent a couple hours with them uh, individually. Uh, a little interview, if you would, to better understand who they are and how they view each other. Now, I can't lie, I was a little concerned with how much I'd actually get out of Lou, but he actually was amazing, so it was great. Uh, what I did get was, uh, from my 21 questions with them, was so pure and tender. It provided a deeper look into how each of them needs the other and why they are meant for each other. 
here are a couple of my favorite responses that reflects the love picture. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about the other is what I asked. Heidi replied, everything. Lou replied, her positive attitude, she's so loving. She's a person, she's a, she's a people person, opposite of myself. She gives me confidence in myself and these others. Then I asked, what are the three strongest qualities about the other? Heidi replied, loyal, faithful, smart, and funny. Lou replied, she's extremely loving, as much as his mom. She cares about his family so much, she's so creative, and she has good hygiene. <laughs> Always remember it's moments like these that become the memories of tomorrow, and the foundation of your love is built on today. The love which has brought us here today. Now that you'll have a better understanding of how Lou and Heidi's love story began, let's get the time. Marriage is more than the joining of two lives. It's the union of two hearts. It flourishes on the love you share and never grows old, but thrives on the joy of each new day. Marriage is love. May you always be able to enjoy life together, laugh, confide, and communicate with one another. Be truthful and share the tender moments of peace and quiet when each day has come to an end. May you be blessed with a lifetime of happiness, a home of warmth, and understanding. Heidi, may you be blessed with a little extra patience and understanding because of men. We just don't get it. <laughs> uh, you can keep your vote. Thanks, <laughs> Lou, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her long, as long as you both should live. Heidi, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both should live? Oh, no, that's Sorry. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they didn't even lose yeah. <laughs> uh, So, Lou and Heidi have uh, prepared their own vows that they wish to read to each other today. So, I will let them take over from here. You choose who goes first. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> with an annual pass I can go to Disneyland with. <laughs> we took an astronomy class together and stayed up staring at the moon. We spent the summer getting to know each other and all the things we have in common. You grew your hair out and let me cut it for the first time even though I had no idea what I was doing. It was clear you started to have feelings for me. But I wasn't ready. I knew I wanted my next relationship to be my last and I told you not to fall in love with me. My favorite thing about you is that you didn't listen. <laughs> you had patience, you were understanding, and you never gave up on me. You stayed by my side, you knew I was the one for you, and you became my best friend. As your wife, I promise you that I will always be your best friend. I promise to slow down when I walk too fast. <laughs> I'll listen when you want to talk about fantasy football. <laughs> I'll always be a Laker fan, and an Angel fan, and a Rams fan. I promise to respect, admire, appreciate you for who you are as, for, as well as for the person you wish to become. I will support your dreams, whether it's painting or making rugs, or whatever furniture store you want to work at next. <laughs> I promise to be there for you when you need me to nurture you, 
to nurture your goals and ambitions, to support you through misfortune and celebrate your triumphs. I promise to persevere when times get tough. Knowing any challenges we face, we will conquer them together. I will treat you with compassion and fairness because we're a team now and for always. And I promise to show you every day that I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life because you were the one thing I got right. I love you forever and ever. change a thing about it because it has brought us here in this moment. From the first day I met you, I knew there was something special about you. Besides being incredibly hot, you made an effort to get to know me and you show me just how beautiful of a person you really are. We slowly became best friends and it seemed as if we couldn't spend a day without each other. Although things weren't always perfect, we always found a way to overcome anything and grow as one. All of our conversations and experiences you and I have lived proves to me that you are worthy of all the love and time I can give. Today and forever, I promise to be faithful to you and our marriage. I promise to be the man that you deserve. I will always be there to support you and take care of you. I promise to stay silly and make you laugh every day. And I promise to always tell you how much you mean to me. And also, I promise to always kiss you before I leave for work and before I go to sleep. And from now to the day we are old and gray, I'll be there holding your hand. Heidi, I love you forever and ever, babe. <laughs> I love you 3,000. You did it. <laughs> that brought a tear to my eye, too. <laughs> the ring, sir. The wedding ring signifies this man and woman joining forces in matrimony, and symbolizing the ever-ending passion of their love. Blue, place the ring on the table. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. And faith. As I place it on your finger. I commit my heart, I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you wear this ring. I ask you wear this ring. I ask you wear this ring as a reminder of the vows. As a reminder of the vows. We have spoken here today. Our way. Now that Lou and Heidi have given themselves to each other by the solemn vows, the joining of hearts and hands, and the giving and receiving of the rings in the presence of family and friends today, 
by the power vested in me by some random website on the internet called makemearev.com. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your brother. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very honored and excited to introduce to you today Mr. and Mrs. Louis Gonzalez. So I'm going to make this uh, pretty short and sweet here, so we can all enjoy that uh, open bar up there. <laughs> Forget my little mini teleprompter, but I want to make sure I get this right. It's important that I so. so I'm Ryan. I have the privilege of being uh, Lou's best man, but I have been the bigger honor of being his uh, brother-in-law. Yes, sir. I think I speak for everyone here that we're all so happy this day has finally come. Um, their love, devotion, and determination persevered and finally got them to this day. This wedding survived the pandemic, so cheers to that, for sure. <laughs> it's been a long time coming and we are all so happy for you both, for sure. You are both such great people and you deserve this perfect day. Heidi, officially, welcome to the family. You were already a part of it, but now it's legal. I'm really, I'm really honored to call you a sister-in-law. Lou, what can I say, bro? You've come a long way, my fan. <laughs> From that little high school kid I first met, joining basketball shots at the fair, yes, to the chicken suit in Vegas, oh, yeah! <laughs> and now to the man and husband you've become. I really couldn't be prouder. We all are. You really are a great brother-in-law, brother, uncle, and son and I know you're gonna be an even better husband. So let's raise a glass to the Gonzaleses and cheers to their continued love, happiness, and success. Yeah! Woo! Lou, as long as I can remember, we've been the best friends. I got through one sentence, okay. You're one of the first people I call with good news bad and everything in between and even though you're my little brother a part of me has always looked to you for strength and guidance a simple man with a heart of gold I'm thankful every day to have a lifelong friend in you there is no doubt in my mind you'll be an amazing husband and one day a father to Heidi's five children <laughs> Oh Get it, girl. <laughs> I, I don't really recall the first time I formally met Heidi because she's just always felt like family to us. If Lou was coming, we wanted Heidi there too. Any family get togethers, big, small. And when I saw the way Lou would look at Heidi and speak about her, I knew she was the one. And when our dads passed away, there was a bond, no pun intended, <laughs> that was made between us all that was cemented for life. It solidified the love Lou and Heidi had for each other to get through anything life was going to throw their way. And I know our dads would be so proud of the both of you. Standing here today, I'm so grateful that these two have found each other because in Heidi, I see that Lou has his teammate and partner for life. And in Lou, I see Heidi's forever best friend. So may you never lie, cheat, or drink. But if you must lie, lie with each other. If you must cheat, cheat death. And if you must drink, drink with us. <laughs> Cheers to the newlyweds. I love you both so much. Hello, everyone. For those of you that don't know me, uh, my name is Lizzie, and Heidi is my best friend. Oh, you're my best friend. 
I can't tell you how thrilled I was when Heidi and Lewis asked me to be their maid of honor. Knowing all that comes with the position, I immediately got to work. But a few of us know how that ended up. And so special shout out to Jen and Katie and Dana for making magic happen for Heidi when I couldn't. Oh, you got it, girl. You got it, girl. <laughs> Still, all the pressure was nothing compared to the moment I realized I had to give a speech here tonight. I'm going to find my place, too. <laughs> the hard part being that I've known Heidi for 14, 15 years now, and we've truly grown up together. We've shared and experienced so many things through our years. How could I possibly pick a few moments that perfectly describe to you just what she means to me? I mean, I could tell you about how we met, which was sneaking out of a friend's house to get to a party, um, which I can stay now because we can't get in trouble. I can tell you about the time that we drove all over LA looking for food, and uh, it was like three in the morning. We landed at um, the 24-hour King Taco, and then we made a friend of ours bring out lions to us because at King Taco, they don't give you lions. Of course, neither of those times compared to when a then 17 year old me called Heidi overstressed to no end, needing to take a pregnancy test. And she showed up in what felt like seconds. And we found out then that I was gonna be a mom and that she would be the most amazing aunt. So much to share, I'm sure you all could see where I'd have some trouble. As young high school girls and then young adults, we definitely ended up bonding in a way that I never even expected. And then of course, as not so young adults, uh, our you know friendship can take moments of pause, um, but our friendship only grew stronger. I learned from very, very, very early on just the kind of person that Heidi is. Um, God. Compassionate and honest and accepting and devoted and sincere and trustworthy and most of all reciprocal. Heidi has never left my side and for that I'm truly grateful. Every quality you could want in a best friend. So I'd like to ask you all to join me in wishing the lovely couple all the happiness that they deserve. And to you, Lewis, I say that tonight I pass to you, my best friend. Be as good to each other as she's been to everybody here. Love and celebrate all the special qualities that make Heidi the beautiful woman that she is. I wish you both lasting love for forever. And Heidi, I will always be here as more than just your best friend, but as your sister. And I know that in the hearts and through the eyes of everyone here tonight, lucky, to watch you love and be loved. Your dad is too, and he is so proud. I love you both. Congratulations. I, I can't even add to what's already been said. They've said everything. I feel exactly the same way. Heidi's been a part of our family for a while, and I already, already think of her as my daughter. And I just want to wish you guys the best. Just love each other, be happy. And one other great shout out to my sister Carol and my brother-in-law Mark for letting us have this beautiful wedding at their house. Thank you so, so much. And thank you everybody for coming.
got tangled up in your own wind Your ride is wrong Your flight is grounded But love never leaves a heart Full of air, but you're drowning.